Hello and welcome. Let's find the derivative of x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 6. So this is a pretty standard polynomial which I'm going to call the f of x. And let's find the derivative by first principle. So we want to find what f prime of x is. And the rule or the formula for finding derivatives by first principles is the f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of the f of x plus h minus the f of x all over h. So now I'll change colors and let's find the f of x plus h. And we do that simply by substituting the term x plus h for x in our original function. So we'll have x plus h cubed minus 2x plus h squared plus x plus h plus 6. And if I expand these terms, I'll get, for the first term, I'll get x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed minus 2. I'll leave that outside first, so uh, I'll expand the squared term. So I'll get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus x plus h plus 6. And if I continue expanding, I'll get uh, x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed. So the first term does not change. I'll expand the negative 2 in, so I'll get negative 2x squared plus, sorry, minus 4xh minus 2h squared plus x plus h plus 6. Now there's nothing I can really do to uh, simplify this any further, and unfortunately it looks like a very long and tedious expression, but nonetheless Let's continue now and find what the numerator is. So the f of x plus h minus the f of x. So the f of x plus h minus the f of x. And I'll simply copy down what I've just done. So x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed minus 2x squared minus 4xh minus 2h squared plus x plus h plus 6 and I'm going to take away x cubed and remember I have to include the parentheses because I'm taking away this whole thing x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 6. Alright, I'm going to be lazy because I can't be bothered rewriting this, so I'm going to simply delete this parentheses. And if I do that, I'm going to have to change the positives in the parentheses to a negative and the negative to a positive. So the minus 2 becomes a positive 2x squared the positive x or the plus x becomes a minus x and the plus 6 becomes a minus 6 and I can do away with the parentheses. Now I have an expression I can simplify a little bit so here the positive 6 and the negative 6 will cancel out the positive x and the negative x will cancel out the negative x squared, sorry, negative 2x squared will cancel out with the positive 2x squared 
and the x cubed, sorry, the negative x cubed will cancel out with the positive x cubed. So that leaves me with 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed plus minus 4xh minus 2h squared plus h. And I can factor out an h from here, so I'll get h outside of 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared minus 4x minus 2h plus 1. So now that we have evaluated the numerator, let's plug it back into the formula for finding derivatives by first principles. So I'm going to have the derivative of f is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of h outside of 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared minus 4x minus 2h plus 1 all over h. And here the h's will cancel, so I'm left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared minus 4x minus 2h plus 1. And this is equal to, well, the limit as h approaches 0 of all of the terms that have an h will go to 0 because anything times 0 is going to equal 0. So these terms will be eliminated and I'll be left with the limit as h approaches 0 of this is equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. So as you can see, finding the derivative of polynomials can become a very tedious process if we get higher and higher powers. But fortunately in maths we always have patterns and shortcuts that we can follow. So let me write down first of all what we started with. So the f of x is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 6 and if we compare that to our derivative we get 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 so our x cubed term has decreased by 1 order, so from a power of 3 to a power of 2. Our x squared term has also done the same and so has our x term. And the constant 6 differentiates to 0. But as well as that we've also increased the coefficient in front of our dependent variable x by a factor of 3. When we go from the cube to the square We've increased the coefficient by a factor of 2 when we go from the square term to the x term. And while we haven't increased the factor of the coefficient, we can say that we've increased it by a factor of 1 when we go from x to a constant. And that's where the power formula for differentiating a polynomial comes from. So I can simply say this, that if we have a function y of x and it's equal to some constant times x to the power of n, then the differential of y with respect to x is going to equal the constant times the power of x times x to the power of n minus 1. So instead of doing all of this working, we can just go straight to here and save us a lot of energy. 
So I hope you have found this video useful. Please give me a like if you have. If you are currently studying math, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for future videos that may help you on exams or assignments. And as always, please feel free to ask me any question by commenting on any of the videos that you've seen. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something.